Hey everybody, um, in this video, I wanna show you how to begin creating the, the set of working drawings. So uh, super important, make sure you wanna download the working drawing.dwg file and you wanna open it in AutoCAD. I have that created to, because it has a lot of the, the layers and the, the dimension settings, the units are already set up for you so you don't have to go in and, and do all that. So I'm going to click on the working drawing DWG. I'm going to click on it again here. Now the arrow that's pointing up over here on the left, you want to click it, you want to go show in folder. Make sure I'm going to right click on where it says working drawing here. And I want to open it open with and I'm going to use my AutoCAD application here. And the reason I did that is because if I click on it, it's going to open it up for me. It's going to open it up in Inventor, and that's not what I want. So I want to, I want to make sure that it opens up in AutoCAD. So I'm going to click that, and then that's going to open it up. It's going to bring in my stuff here. Now, I, now I, where it says draw you floor plan inside this area, I really want that to say draw your floor plan inside this area. So I'm gonna change that real quick. That was a boo-boo. So what you can see is I have some of the, the AutoCAD blocks. So the kitchen um, stuff, the washer and dryer. Let me zoom in on here. This is a shower, the bathtub, the toilet, um, the, the bathroom sink. There's a couple of fancy doors that I, I created. Um, some of them you're gonna have to create yourself, but um, and it also has a lot of the layers already set up here. We're going to start on our wall layer. The units are already going to be, if I type in units, they're already set up for architectural, so you don't need to do anything there. And then I turn the grid off because to me that drives me nuts. But you're going to start off drawing your outside walls and try to draw inside this rectangular area. And the reason why I did that is because when you go to put it on your sheet here, your sheet's going to be kind of already, your floor plan will be already set up kind of in the center of your, um, your borders here, like I have it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make sure I'm in my wall, my wall layer. I'm going to go to line and I'm going to just kind of lay out my, my exterior walls. So I'm just going to randomly pick a spot kind of inside this rectangle area. And my ortho mode is on, so I'm gonna drag it over to the right. And this line is gonna be 26 feet. So I'm gonna type in 26, and then the little apostrophe symbol. That makes it 26 feet to the right. I'm gonna go straight up, and that's gonna be 32 feet. Press enter. I'm gonna draw my mouse over to the left. I'm gonna go over 26 feet. And then I could I could hit enter C for close, which is what I'm gonna do. As long as I've got this continuous. So I'm just gonna hit C for close and then enter. And that's going to end right where back where I started from. So that's kind of like the outermost outside of my exterior walls. Does that make sense? So then I'm going to offset the lines that I already created here. I'm going to go up to the offset tool. And then it says specify offset distance. So my distance is going to be six inches. So I'm just going to press the number six and press enter. I don't need, I don't need to give it the, the, the inch unit, which is the quotation marks. Because if I just use, if I just type in a number, AutoCAD is going to automatically assume that I want inches. So I'm going to type in six, press enter. And then it says you want to select the object that you want to offset. So I'm going to pick my, my line and I want to offset this to the inside. So I'm going to move my mouse to the inside of this box area here and just click with my mouse left click and I'm gonna keep doing that. So I'm gonna click this wall. 
I'm going to move it down, offset it down. This wall, I'm going to offset it to the left. This wall, I'm going to offset it up. Then I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of my offset command. So now you notice that our lines are crossing each other. So we don't want that. So what I like to do is I use, like to use the fillet tool up here. I'm going to click on fillet. And then it's already going to have our radius of zero for us. So um, I'm going to click on kind of the, the top portion of this line, the top portion of this line. And you can kind of see it squares those off. And then I'm going to press the enter key here to get back to that fillet command. And then I'm going to press the, those two lines, press enter, click these two lines, press enter again, click these two lines. And then I'm done with that so I can hit the escape key to cancel out of that command. Um, so that's all it is to creating our exterior walls. It's really just a, a big rectangle with a thickness of six inches. So um, yeah, that's, that's all there is really to creating the exterior walls for this um, house. So I'm gonna stop the video here. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the interior walls. And I'll show you how to do that in the next lesson. All right, peace.